somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Gail, this one's uh, going out to Fat Fingers. I promised him I'd let him uh, show him my light bar, but uh, this is something that I whipped up for indicators. I, uh, I pretty much self-explanatory. You put a nut in between just so you can adjust where that sits. Um, but yeah, I made it for indicators. They're actually chrome ones that I had uh, on there, but they've since broken. Um, Yes, but uh, all I did, a bit of chrome tubing. Um, I had to grind it down because you can't weld straight onto chrome. Um, you can, but it'll burn off peel anyway and be wrong or whatever. Maybe an imperfect surface, I don't know. Anyway, short story long. Um, grind down a little bit so you can uh, put your tags on, weld your tags on, drill a hole in the middle, um, and then you put yourself a light bar. Uh, oh, and you've got to... Uh, weld the nuts in the ends which uh, I had these nuts that were like a top hat um, so they had that extra wide brim um, and they st I just ground them down until they went in the tube and then just tack welded and then uh, ground it down carefully on the outside after that I just got the silver paint just painted silver paint just to blend it in you might be able to use chrome paint but there's nothing like chrome chrome's chrome but anyway, that's the sort of thing you might possibly be able to do, Fat Fingers, to do your spotlights on your Z750. I've got all this in view. Get out. Um, now I measured it on my Z. Uh, these tags are slightly in a different position. Um, yes, I've got to cut my nails and clean them. Um, <laughs> been stripping apart cars this week. Uh, yeah, you've, we've got to adjust that, or you've got to do a different size. Um, but if I was to make you one, if you're interested, I could if you want. Um, I'll just make a new one, maybe not out of chrome. I don't have much chrome left, if any. Uh, I'll just use a piece of steel so you can paint it, put the tags in the right spot, same spot as my Z, do this sort of thing. Um, now, whether or not you wanted to use them as an indicator one, it'll be the right thread um, down the track, or uh, you could use a bolt and just bolt that in there, um, put the wiring elsewhere, bolt the bolt in there on the bracket of the uh, spotlight. Yeah, uh, one of the two points or whichever, because some of them, most of them, they have two points, some of them have a single point bolt on bit, but you could bolt it straight in in the ends. Groovy. Yeah, so you could use your bolt in the end um, to bolt the spotlight bracket on. Something like this perhaps. <laughs> Is that going to show up the uh, the kangaroos or whatever you're worried about as on your trip to work? Anyway, I scored this for 30 bucks recently. It was off a wrecked uh, full drive. So if you're looking for LED stuff, head to the wreckers because uh, those vehicles are coming through. Groovy. One way to save money. Um, yeah, so this is the bracket I was talking about. Some spotlights have this single bolt bracket. Um, so you just get the right size bolt bolted in there for your small spotlight, your round spotlight. Cool. Groovy. Excellent. Hope that's what you're looking for. But uh, yeah, if you want me to make you one, let me know, and I'll get it whipped up. Cool. Probably take me two weeks turnaround, probably, within that, on your doorstep. Anyway, let me know. Ciao.